people and welcome to today's video today we are going to dive in a for me long anticipated makeup palette it is makeup by mario master matte palette and also what i do have here is eye pencil this one is called the perfect brown it is supposed to be extremely pigmented and long lasting but the issue I have with long-lasting products is that they tend to dry just because of the way they are built, the way they have ingredients with them to actually be long-lasting. So I wonder how this one is going to perform. Anyways, this is the look that I... not this. <laughs> this is the look that I created with today's palette. And if you want to see what I think about this palette, then please keep on watching. Before anything, I started by prepping my eye and I primed my eyes with pillow bases bases in number 0 and 3. I mixed them together and then to achieve a little bit of lighter skin tone effect, I added Makeup Forever H Ultra HD foundation. This one is in shade, let me see, uh, Y315, which is actually, it's real dark, but um, I added up just a little bit because I love the tone of this foundation. I'm really interested in seeing how this pencil will um, will blend that is one of the things that i'm most interesting about um, i will start with lightest shade first and this is the wrong brush but yeah before i actually go with eyeshadows always 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 keep this in mind you always have to remove any lines or anything um if some if something's um if something is creasing on your eyes, you have to remove that before you set your eyes. So one of the things that even Mario um, was talking about was going um, with the cream products before he applied his powders, which I understand and it gives you more of that 3D effect, so to speak. I in general love that technique, but today I'm going to use his pencil to curve my eye and to make lines. Uh, guidelines for today's eye shape. I believe it's going to give an uh, interesting look to today's final result. So I did took the lightest shade with a flat brush and starting underneath my eyebrow. This is cool toned. It's not white, but it's really light shade. The reason why I'm using white shade first or light shade first is when I go with the next shade and if you're a beginner that is a great way to start so you use your white shade or white <laughs> you use your light shade first and then as you go with your darker shades it's going to be easier to blend them onto lighter shade that you have so you go shade one two three being first shade being the lightest and then when you apply second shade which is a little bit darker it's going to be easier to have that transition and that is something that i was talking a lot with my students regardless the technique that we were doing, if we would go with the lightest shade first, it would be much easier to achieve anything and to blend. And then of course you can go from the darkest, especially when if you're doing smoky eyes, you go from the darkest to the lightest to blend colors. But again, this way is easier if you're a beginner. Okay, next shade will be the color next to it. I want to take small blending brush and so today's look is going to be mainly with a cool tone um, shades. I'm going really high with this eyeshadow. Now the goal is to connect this shade with previous shade, being light, the lightest shade. Okay. Now when I I can like I know I can feel when um, the product is or I can see when the product is gone from my brush I can go even higher closer to my eyebrow and just you know just move my brush all over the place when it comes to um, blending because my brush is almost clean. When it comes to pigment, this is not right off top. I can say this is not a palette that will give you that instant punch when it comes to colors maybe i will check later with the darkers with the black and deep browns but when it comes to lighter colors you will get really really soft transition soft look the way you can enhance this is what i mentioned before you can use your liquids 
before to shape your eye and then go on top of it with this and then you will get much stronger effect if you are just working with a lighter shades, right? I really like how soft this is just because you can achieve really um, at the same time glam and really natural look with these colors. And I love the fact that this is all matte for a change. If you are watching my channel you will see that I have a lot of um, multi-chrome and glittery rhinestones, sparkly makeup looks, so that's what I like to do as well. Again, really really soft, really nice transition. I can even build this color by itself because when I went with light color I placed it right here and then I'm moving on with my second shade because it is so soft I can even see like kind of sculpt towards my nose and this is Will, this will be one of the guidelines for the contour later. Again, one thing what I realized, again, no matter how much you build this color, it is still soft. Now the next shade I'm gonna be using is this color. I don't know how to even hold this palette. It is going to be this color right here. Don't forget to take your essence of the product off your off of your brush. What I'm doing right now is helping me to really go into all the area to not miss anything. This one is supposed to be a little bit darker color. I don't see I don't see that much of a difference. I'm just building product on top of it, which I don't want to do too much. I don't want to have too much product at the same place. Once I went a couple of times with this um, eyeshadows. Yeah, it's just, it did added a little bit of shade. So my opinion right now is that this is a great palette for beginners. Because of the way it blends, I believe this is really, really easy palette to work with. Which I believe is really great for someone who is just starting in the makeup industry, like in the makeup in general. Now when it comes to eye pencil and this outline, you can see that I already have this on my eyes, so I actually uh, skipped this part of filming, but I had it in close, I have it in close up. The reason why I had to erase the first one and I had to do it again is because I didn't, I didn't like how this line looked like. Going on top of the powder with this eye pencil is just it is not reflecting its best on top of the powders and I think, I believe it's way better when you apply it on something that is more um, smooth, um, anything that is not settled on your eyes. And that's the reason why I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk ruining this line so I went with the brushes when it comes to these edges. One thing that really impressed me is this brush right here that is on the other side of this pencil. I didn't expect it because I, because of how thick it is. I didn't thought that it's going to um, create such a fine lines when you have to smudge something. When it comes to smudging your pencil, it is so, so good and so precise. I'm still confused how it works to be honest. Um, so whenever I like this is too thick, can I do just thinner lines, see? And now if, I'm, if I wanted to smudge this, it works like a dream. And now I'm going to show you how to fill in this gap right here. So remember when I said lighter shades from this palette, they actually don't build um, color strongly. Um, that's not the case with the dark, with the dark colors at least the one that I've tried now. So to create this, I took three darker shades. I didn't want to go from the darkest, luckily I didn't, because this color right here is pretty much dark, like it's really dark. And I keep on looking here instead of here, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the camera. I am taking this shade right here, applying that shade above my line that I made. I really like the shape of this line. It took me a long time to create this and I had to um, redone my makeup again till this point but it is what it is. I tried to use a pencil a different way, it didn't work, I didn't like the shape and here we are. But when I'm doing this right now, let's just focus on this part. So, show one step at a time, following this line, motions towards my eyebrows. Now taking a little bit bigger 
bula brush pointy bula brush and just trying to smudge this a little bit more now it is time for lighter shade and that is this shade right here they are named from matte 1 to matte 12 matte 1 being um, the lightest and the matte 12 being black one just have patience this is a small area to work with and to blend everything have a transition it takes time so now I'm gonna take a small brush really really small brush like <laughs> all of these are small brushes but then you have different sizes of small precise brushes different shape shapes of small small precise brushes now I'm going to use the darkest color just going around the edges and also with the same color I'm going to emphasize this liner this color is actually really good match for the perfect brown pencil and one thing I did and I like it I obviously like this brush not only for smudging the pencil but I also took color whichever it is in this case it's white and just underneath my eyebrow because I figured if it works that good to smudge a pencil it will work good to blend this area with the eyeshadows and it does so now the next thing that I want to do is to add a little bit more base in the beginning just because the base that I already had a little bit it's a little bit dry and I just want to reapply base and re refresh everything and I did put a little bit more of zero inside of the base so it's a little bit lighter but it doesn't have to be this light and now I am going to use this shade right here starting some somewhere from the middle but I'm just thinking if this is going to be too warm because it is warm toned I'm not even sure if I'm going to like this and I don't so instead I'm just going with this light color from the inner corner with the flat brush and then moving on to this color right here to connect with a lighter color I'm going to use a little bit darker color so I'm basically repeating all the colors that I already used now to stretch my inner corner I am using small small brush yeah, it is working really nice when it's I couldn't do this with, with this pencil not this precise anyway that's really nice and natural now for the lower part, I am going in again with the base and I'm just trying not to mess anything around these lines with the base. So now once this is done, I'm going in with a pencil. I also have this pencil on my uh, upper waterline and now I'm going to just fill everything in. And it is going really smooth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like whenever you have something creamy or something that's not being set, the pencil works in a way that is much easier to smudge the product i'm also going underneath my waterline a little bit again before it sets making sure everything everything is covered so for my lashes i used ardell naked lashes in style 421 i used two pairs so one is in whole piece and the other one is just last half of the lashes so i made double lashes to achieve this look and of course my lashes are curled and having mascara and that is pretty much it for today's eye makeup look so guys this is the final look and i really do like this color story i ended up loving this palette even though like this is my first impression but i think this palette is great for beginners as well if you are in makeup bridal industry these are your essential colors that you will need and what i already said on my instagram story i think the idea uh, of creating these shades inspired by human skin tones is brilliant because here you have all ranges cool tone 
and warm tone as well as neutrals so you can complement whatever skin color story that you're dealing with so that's a win-win situation when you have to kind of um, if you are thinking of purchasing palette that will do all of this stuff for you then I will highly suggest this one and I will also use um, this palette in my other looks as well when it comes to pencil I'm actually amazed that I use just pencil for the lower lash line that I don't think that ever happened <laughs> I always finish my eyes with the eyeshadows so I love that the only issue I had with the uh, with eye pencil is applying the pencil on top of the powders that didn't work out for me and um, I think I think I believe it's the best when you use that pencil on top of uh, something that is more creamy or in general that your base is not set okay one last thing I want to mention in today's eye contact lenses these are my eyes these are contact lenses and these are in style Lolito Brown these are daily lenses and I am in love with this one they change a little bit of color of my eye I already talked about them and I have the whole and my beauty review if you want to check that out as well but I am absolutely in love how natural they look how good they feel that will be it for today's look and guys thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one bye